Hey guys, i uh, just going to uh, do a little uh, little video um, showing uh, the process of uh, soldering a Nazi acro board. Um, it comes with uh, three pins, three pin headers, depending if you want the 90 degree, which I picked. Uh, it's going on the uh, MXP 230 from X Hover. So, I don't want them standing off, so I, I opted to get the uh, the 90 degree pins, okay? And it comes with a little uh, three by three header, and it comes with a five by five header. So, um, it is quite a small board. It's uh, 36 millimeters squared, I believe, so it's pretty much the same size as a um, a CC3D, okay, with uh, a hell of a lot more capabilities for GPS and and all that stuff. I really haven't got into it. It's based on multi Wii, and with the uh, the new GUI, um, the Chrome Base Flight Editor, I uh, watched some videos and everything, and it, uh, it doesn't look too bad. And supposedly from default, this handles a lot of frames pretty good. You know, so I figured I'd pick one up for for twenty five bucks. I mean, I was pretty lucky too because um, it seems like you can't get them now; <laughs> they're out of stock. So I guess they're making another batch. I got this one on Abuse Park or something like that. <laughs> so didn't take very long to get here. Uh, free shipping. I didn't even bother for the the tracking option because I just took the chance. It's twenty five bucks. If it was like you know a couple hundred bucks, I probably would just to keep track of where it is. So, um, a couple of things I'm going to do, or you're going to need, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, tape, your helping hands as normal, um, some flux, uh, some good uh, 6040 rosin core. I picked this up uh, at the local electronic store. It's uh, it's great. You can get the cheaper stuff at like the generic hardware stuff, uh, hardware stores and whatnot. But this is uh, this is pretty good, and you you pay a little extra for it. So, but I use this for uh, my uh, <laughs> important jobs. Let's <laughs> put it that way. What we're going to have to do here is. Is place the pins in the in the holes like so. I'm going to turn it upside down, and we just need to solder each pin individually. If you can see that, so it's recommended um, to just do one corner first, and make any kind of uh, angle adjustments to. Uh, just to make sure you're nice and squared. I'm, if you were off just a little bit, I'm sure it's not going to hurt. Okay. And this is the little tricky one here on the side. As you can see, there's tabs on the bottom. You can get this to focus. There's tabs on the bottom, and there's tabs on the top. Okay. And this has to sit flush just sit on the solder tabs and it's surface surface soldered on that side and then once you get that side done you have to flip it over and make sure they're lined up good on that side so this one is going to be a little bit trickier and um, once we get it orientated or whatnot I might uh, use a little bit of tape okay so I'm going to start with uh, these first. Well, before I uh, forgot to mention the uh, the the three by three header is um, on the back here. You'll see there's a voltage. <clears throat> you can focus in here. The um, telemetry. Uh, what else is here? Your buzzer. Maybe you have a low voltage buzzer and what's the other one voltage battery there's uh, some different um, purposes for that and there's also some other things here that uh, I'm not really going to get into right now because I 
don't really know about it. If I can focus. <laughs> so yeah, there's a couple other soldering pads here for uh, additional add-ons and whatnot. If you uh, want to get in with the GPS and stuff like that. So this one, I don't really have a low. I don't think I have a voltage buzzer on hand. I might have one left over from an old KK2. So that is basically was soldered in there like that. And then we have this one that sits here on that. So that's just the basic layout of how uh, everything is going to go. So what I'm going to do is um, with my uh, flux pen, I'm just going to uh, just put a little bit of flux. If we try to get this in shot here. Just going to do a little bit of flux along uh, the board here, just to help the solder flow a little bit. Uh, Real nice contacts, so it shouldn't be an issue. My soldering iron is uh, heated up, but it's not overly hot. You don't want it too hot. And so I'm just going to uh, start on the outside corner. Just a little bit of solder. corner. I'm just going to do the opposite corner here. Like that. And the solder should just flow through. That. Alright. Two more. Pretty good. Okay, uh, I said uh, earlier that I was possibly going to uh, use some tape, but uh, with my uh, helping hands, just get the uh, the pins orientated and uh, nip there like that, just to get them um, get them orientated correctly. Because uh, you have to solder these, and then you have to flip the board over and solder the tabs on the other side. I'm just going to uh, tab the first one. So here on the outside corner, I'm just going to a little bit of solder on this one, just to keep it stationary, and uh, then uh, I'll flip it over and do the opposite corner, and then uh, should be able to um, get them uh, all soldered on. Take your time here. Like that, just to uh, give it a little bit more solder on this side. Now that I've uh, got it flipped over, I'm just going to uh, clean my iron a bit here. And I'm just going to heat it up. Let the solder just flow down around the edges. While I still have it, while I still have it <clears throat> clamped, I'm just going to do the second one next to it. Like that. We'll do the next one, same we're here. Don't want too much heat. You start to see the, the pin started to move. I don't want to block it there. But the pin out here started if you heat it up too much, you're going to start to melt this. So just got to be mindful of that. And we should be able to get the next one in here. So 
So with this side, I'm going to uh, just going to put a little bit of flux on these and see if I can get this to flow just a little bit better. Which I should have did it on the other side as well. Should be able to release that now. Just keep it stationary. So with a little bit of flux. Should help that solder uh, seep into the uh, connection here. redo that one. That's a lot more tidier than the other side. So I'm just going to flip it over again and uh, <clears throat> just add some flux and uh, redo them because I, I missed one on the other side actually. As you can see I, uh, I missed that one there a little bit. I'm just going to uh, some flux flowing. Seeing there's already solder there, I shouldn't have to uh, shouldn't have to add any more just to get it flow a little bit better. The one that I missed, uh, it's not that I missed it, I didn't put enough on there just to get that flowing just a little bit better. Like that that should be good. Now uh, for the last one with the, the voltage buzzer and the um, telemetry, if you're using FreeSky, you can uh, just gonna drop this pin in here like that. So I'm just going to flip it over and just going to hold it there like that. I'm just going to lay it flat so I can get this in view. A little bit of flux. Alright. And last but not least. Just uh, check over the connections here. <clears throat> Just make sure everything looks looks good. Everything seems solid. I don't have a uh, a micro USB. Uh, it might be the same. I have one uh, for my phone, but I don't think it's the same. So I have to go shopping tomorrow for one of those. And uh, I don't have my frame or anything yet, so it's on order. Plus the motors and, and all that stuff. So anyways, guys, just a little solder job on the uh, Nazi 32 Acro. So hopefully you enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching.